Hi everyone and welcome back to my Canada Immigration Explore YouTube channel. In this video, I would like to talk about the express entry category based on draws, which categories have the most job vacancies. On May 31st, Immigration Minister Sean Fraser announced which categories will be targeted in the category-based express entry draws that are expected to begin this summer. The category-based draws will happen along with the general draws and the program-specific draws. In general draws, Immigration, Refugees and Citizenship Canada invites the highest-ranking candidates to apply for permanent residence. In program-specific draws, invitations are limited to the highest-ranking candidates by the program. In the new category-based draws, IRCC will invite the highest-ranking candidates who have a high proficiency in French or who have work experience in any of the following areas, healthcare, science, technology, engineering, and mathematics professions, trades, such as carpenters, plumbers and contractors, transport, agriculture and agri-food, now, let's talk about how were these categories chosen. If you are eligible for selection under one of these categories, it would be useful to know what the job market of your category looks like and where jobs are the most available. This data will summarize Statistics Canada data about job vacancies in Canada and further break the data down by province and territory. The new categories were chosen to fill vacant positions throughout Canada, as immigration is seen as an integral way to reduce the labor shortage in Canada. These categories were chosen after legislative requirements made sure the minister participated in consultations with provinces and territories, members of injury, unions, employers, workers, worker advocacy groups, settlement provider organizations and immigration researchers and practitioners. Healthcare, since the COVID-19 pandemic, Canada has experienced extremely high job vacancies in the healthcare and social assistance category. Canada relies heavily on immigration to fill the vacancies in the healthcare system. A quarter of registered nurses and 36% of physicians in Canada were born outside of Canada. Because of this, IRCC is taking measures to make it easier for foreign trained healthcare workers to immigrate, such as removing some of the barriers for physicians who are already in Canada on a temporary residency visa. In the fourth quarter of 2022, there were 143,695 job vacancies in the healthcare and social assistance category, making the job vacancy rate 6%. The job vacancies per province were Ontario, 55,250, Quebec, 40, 105, British Columbia, 17,705, Alberta, 9,770, Saskatchewan. 2,955, Manitoba, 6,790, Newfoundland, 2,250, Nova Scotia, 4,780, New Brunswick, 2,630, PEI, 685, Northwest Territories, 565, STEM Professions, Occupations Within Science, Technology, Engineering and Mathematics tend to fall within the professional, scientific, and technical services category. This sector had 56,915 job vacancies, or 4.6% in Q4 2022. The job vacancies per province were, Ontario, 24,525, Quebec, 14,725, British Columbia, 8,115, Alberta, 5,515, Saskatchewan, 895, Manitoba, 630, Newfoundland, 405, New Brunswick, 595, Nova Scotia, 1110, PEI, 200. The job vacancies for the territories are either unavailable or there are no job vacancies. STEM occupations are growing in demand in Canada. A report released by Statistics Canada in November of 2022 stated that the high rate of retirement coupled with the evolving technology and automation used in business and everyday life is creating a gap in skills needed in Canada's labor force. Many of the STEM professions offer a competitive pay compared to other categories. The hourly offered average wage in Q4 2022 was $35.80, compared to $16.35 in the accommodation and food services category. Now let's have a look at Trade Statistics Canada data, the trades category include wholesale trades and retail trades for the purposes